Y'all niggas did coat block, bitch. Coat block, bitch. Tall them real niggas out there. We did trial shit, nigga. Bro, this nigga came through. Let me find out, nigga. Do it for the hood, nigga. You see what this shit is? Do it for the hood, for real though. That's it, nigga. For real though. Hood shot, bitch. All in your face, hope. Hoodshots.com. Well, I know who and what the fuck it is right now. You know what I mean? This hood shots, nigga, live FLMG Studios, nigga, with the one and only Goonie Star, nigga. RIP Dope B, nigga. I'm gonna let him speak, nigga. You know what I mean? we gonna let the street speak to tell everybody what the fuck going on out here, nigga. Already, this is no hood shot, man. My hood, your hood, man. I'm gonna put this shit down, man. Let me know how this shit started, man. Before this shit was CBO, how this shit really started. This shit all started, man. I first moved to Red Crib back in like 98. The first nigga I met was he, he was eight, man. He was like eight. His cousin and my cousin, they grew up together. So she, I been met, I been knew Lil Heat. Goddamn, so I grew up with Lil Heat. But on Burning Road, like in 2000, that when I met the Daddy, Queedy, nigga like Big Cole. I did in that south side, man. We were young nigga. We just we were tough at fuck. We just like to fight. And we we used to walk to these teen clubs and shit. Then we would walk to the teen club. We seen nigga like Boston Jaw, Perry Boy. We were like, damn, who them niggas is? Who them niggas is right now? We went over there and tried to we fought well for the fight them nigga had to be for real. But then when we seen who them nigga was, we were like, yeah, we, we go to school them nigga. So we got over them nigga, man. We had went to the store. Stealing bill, trying to buy buy black and miles and smoke weed and shit, man. We were just a young nigga, man. We went on back to Southside Bourbon Road, drinking and smoking. After that, you already know what happened. We got to fight. Everybody got to fight. We were like, damn, these niggas tough. These niggas like up. You know what I'm saying? Though he always was around, he was quiet. He ain't never really said much, though. He just be laid back in the cut. But shit. Everybody knew dude know how to rap, but he just was shy. He really used to rap. You know what I'm saying? And now that we got out that little fight spur, shit, we just started getting money. But I'ma tell you, a nigga like little daddy, he been getting money. Like shit, he bought, he served me my first little deal. Uh, when I'm talking about served me out of pound. Shit, he been serving niggas out of pound. Young nigga, like 10 years old, this nigga was like a grown lad person around up. Like, you know what I'm saying? This shit was real life shit, man. No fake. You know what I'm saying? Nigga like quit it. Maserati shot it, man. He been a fool. I'm talking about, boy, he first got that gun in his hand, boy. We were robbing him goddamn Mexican, boy. Them Mexican things, we just want to get that shit up, man. We just had to kill the bitch. So, shit, we stopped. We be like, hell, dog. We can't be robbing these motherfucking Mexican and shit. So, shit. Everybody just started hustling. Some niggas still wore him lit. Some nigga got job, but shit, all over 30 deep, cause that's how we came up, that's how we grow up. We ain't just fake this shit. All up grew up like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm still with the same niggas I came up with to that day. God damn, though he had dealt out. Though dealt out cause his mama had went to prison and shit, you know what I'm saying? So Doe had moved to Florida with his uh, brother. So everybody still was hustling, you know what I'm saying? A couple niggas went to jail, got out, such and such, whatever. Doe came back like in 2006. Then we were calling Glenn. We were like, damn, man, look at Glenn. Glenn got a stupid ass fade. I'm talking about this nigga had a fade, three step, cake on, cake on top of his head, futuristic. We were like, damn, Doe turned up. You know what I'm saying? Then he started rapping like he wasn't scared to rap no more. And they got to rapping. We was like, man, that Lil Wayne, man. You rap, man. You rap Lil Wayne shit. Stop rapping Lil Wayne shit, man. You faking like you, like, like, like that's your shit. You know what I'm saying? But as he kept doing it, we were like, man, you writing that shit, bro. We know you writing that shit. He was like, man, I don't write, man. Such and such. Yeah, man.
when they got a studio. Set that bitch up on Gil and had a red credit, man. Nigga know we really been getting money on Gil. We still was on Gil, my goddamn. We just left Gil, goddamn red credit. But shit, we had the yo, but we weren't really focused in that shit. But though, he been focused. He been rapping in that studio. He ain't been letting up. I'm talking day and night in that motherfucker. I ain't eating. He don't want to go to no club. He don't want to do nothing but rap. But you got a nigga like me, Perry Boy, Bossy Joy, Lil Daddy, and we, shit, we hustling. Doing whatever it takes to get a dollar. We really want to focus on the rap shit. So we made some songs and shit, you know what I'm saying? We had got hot with this shit. Hint team club, rocking no bitches. Nigga got the hate. We told them bitches up. You know what I'm saying? So dope like, I get dope got over this little idea. He gonna network with nigga. So he got a network with nigga like LP Monte. He from the west side over there on 1610. Got to work with nigga like Bama Ben. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about Bama Ben, I ain't really never trust Bama Ben, but he a all right nigga, but I just, you know how you can sense a bad vibe around a nigga when you, you meet a nigga, you know that, like, it's something about the nigga, he ain't right. It ain't right. He ain't yeah. right, bro, you know what I'm saying? The nigga called Doe out the blue one day, talking about he better than Doe, he rap better than Doe and shit, and Doe put the nigga on speakerphone, I was like, Doe, see what I'm saying? Doe, I was telling you, bro, fuck network with the nigga, bro. These niggas is a cross, bro. Fuck these niggas, we don't need them niggas, you know what I'm saying? But shit, you know, don't learn from him in the but he still didn't bring the nigga with love, though. He nipped that shit in the bud. Okay. Goddamn. He kept rapping, going to the top of that shit. He got over Frank White. Frank White put some opportunities in Doe face. Doe had to take the chance, because we, shit, we had red credit, bro. We out there bitch do or die. We can leave that bitch the day of the mall, shit. We out here in the street. He signed a fucked up deal with Frank White. Well, he was like he on the dead and just to get his buzz, but he know eventually he gonna buy himself out that deal. He gonna get to the next level. But Frank White took that shit to advantage, bro. You you signed as a, a a DJ, bro. Now you, you acting like you a manager, like you got a stain over those shit. You acting like this your shit now, like still to that day you acting like this your shit. Calling little dad and talking about you gonna get the song with him and Boosie put on. Off the internet, cause that dope shit, and he ain't have permission to do it. Nigga, what about the permission when Super Nod just did a song with Money Bad? Yo, you ain't talking about that? You support that though. But you know what I'm saying? That how niggas in the street, man. Frank White, man, you a fuck nigga for that shit though, my nigga. I'm just gonna let you know, man, shit. You did it with it is. But back to the nigga like Super Nod, like shit, boy. Don't ain't know this nigga over six months. Like, shit, nigga, you just came in the picture. And when I first met you, you were talking about Junior Ball. Like, Junior Ball's a whole ass nigga. But now you and him all Mario Luigi. Buddy Woody and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't understand, though. These niggas, these niggas fake as fuck, though. That what it is. But at the same time, back to Junior Ball. You out here like you came up with, though. Like, you been with, though, since we were young. Man, y'all nigga been hating on us since we were young, cause we been hustling and getting money. He was a working nigga. D Block was out there bitch hitting licks, going in and shit. Nigga like Southside Jason, you know, them four way niggas, you know, them nigga with hand licks doing they thing. Nigga like Fathead, hand licks, hustling real good. Them nigga was doing they thing, right. you know what I'm saying? But, and you know, I had to go and put it in like Cards and Bank, you know what I'm saying? He used to do video for dope. He got a lot of dope music. A lot of people got a lot of dope music, but they don't want to put CBM on it. Like, I just heard that Cards and Bank put Super Nod and Money Bad Yo on the song with Doe. But shit, you don't call Doe Day One niggas and say, hey man, I got this song going, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn, I want you to get on this bit with Doe. And I'm going to do the video. We're going to push this shit. We're going to keep this CBM shit going alive. Uh, but shit, it ain't even gotta be me, man. You can put one of my people on that shit. Cause like I said, man, I don't even fuck the rap shit. But the thing about it, a lot of niggas got dope music, but they don't wanna put CBM on it. They wanna hold it and try to put a fuck nigga on the shit. Try to make it seem like them niggas really came up with dope. See, them niggas don't wanna put us on cause they know shit. We got our own money, bro. We'll pay for what we need to pay for to get to that next level. We ain't never kiss no nigga ass. 
And we ain't gonna start kissing no nigga ass, my nigga. We gonna keep this shit solid till we leave this bitch. See me on to the death of me, man. Go on. What was the situation like when uh, T.I. first got introduced to uh, Dope? Like, how, how did that come about? How that shit came about, man? Doc, that dope kid. Hustle Gang, dog, he be with T.I. or whatever. So shit, Doe started fucking with T.I. while I was screaming for that. Doe called, well, T.I. called Doe one night. And they were chopping it up and stuff. And T.I. was like, how fast you can get to the eight? Doe like, shit, I can get out that bitch right now. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we ain't got shit. We ain't never had shit. We trying to get to that level. Doe like, I can get up that bitch right now. Shit, Doe shot down that bitch. And when he went in the studio with Tilt, Tilt seen how dope was going in on the track. Boy, I'm talking about no pad, no pencil. Going straight out the dome. Dropped like, probably like 10 songs in like three, four hours. He was like, damn. Tilt was like, damn. I ain't never met no nigga who been coming there, yo, and, and do that many songs like that. And all them bitches hard. So, Tilt been break dope with love since then. Thing about Tilt, man, you know, Tilt really one, he really would kind of get more laid back in the route. Like, I feel like Doe really opened Doe back up for Tilt to bring that real shit back out. Tilt that trout like shit. That's how that shit started, though, bro. It just was a phone call and Doe shot down now, and then shit, they just started making his. That's what it is. I want to salute Hood Shot. For the lower studio for making this shit happen, man. Let the world know that we the real CBM nigga. A lot of these niggas just out there big fake and putting on like they real love dope. But from my hood to your hood, man, he's gonna man. Goddamn, spend nothing but fake, nothing but real shit. Salute my nigga, little dad, man. Y'all nigga, check out my people, man. We making big movies over here. Free my nigga Maserati quit it. Real nigga got there. Day one and nigga boss Joy Perry, but we still doing our thing, man. We ain't got nothing hanging on that nigga, man. A lot of niggas still hating. Some of they up now, they up next. Man. Where do you rap nigga come from, bro? A lot of niggas just start rapping. Everybody got a motherfucking good now. Then they wanna hate on CBM. Bro, we got this shit out of the hood, bro. Blood, sweat, and tears, man. Ain't nobody gave up in that, man. Then nigga talking about, why y'all ain't do this and that till the nigga killed dope? But we was looking for them niggas out there digging that the dope, boy. Them niggas were hiding, boy. Them niggas already knew what time it was, boy. And shit, I hate we even let that shit happen, man. I wish we would have gone ahead and digging them niggas and handle that shit before they got that far and didn't even listen to dope, man. And dope be still here right now. I'd rather be in prison right now. And dope here than to let dope be dead and them niggas dead. In prison, gonna die in prison. Cause one thing I said about Doe, man, he love that rap shit. He put his all in that shit, man. I wouldn't be a nigga rapping day and night. I used to have to come in that bitch on Buckingham and be like, damn, Doe. Man, let go to sleep for a minute. Let put this shit to red, man. This nigga been on two, three days in the studio, man. You don't think that nigga was on the body, man. That nigga was so dedicated to that rap shit, man. It hurt my heart to know you gone. A lot of other followers sold it gone, man. It was a big little heat. Big dog. Took two bullets for you still had left, man. But I know you in a better place. I know you ain't hit me for one thing. You ain't no hit on no man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hoodshots.com.